Hello and thanks for joining us. A Maple Grove family is joining the efforts to help those in Puerto Rico hit hard by Hurricane Maria. Uh, reporter Sonia Goen shows us what they're doing to get supplies to the Caribbean island. It's been kind of a nightmare. Monica Ortiz has spent many sleepless nights wondering how her family and friends in Puerto Rico are doing. My parents are there, my grandparents, all my family is there except for my siblings that live in the U.S. Maple Grove is a long way from the island. Monica says she feels helpless. Seeing the videos of the destruction and the flooding and not knowing that your family members are okay. She was finally able to reach her family a few days ago, and the news was not good. You see pictures of ceiling just gone. Two of her family members lost their homes. I'm grateful that everyone's alive, right? Because um, you can't replace anyone's lives, but it's hard to start over. Monica is not only worried about her family, but everyone else on the island. There is no electricity, and water and food are in short supply. There's people dying right now. There's children that need emergency um, medicine. She's also wondering why it's taking so long for the government to send help. This is happening in U.S. soil, right? And um, Puerto Ricans are uh, U.S. citizens, and the help is not getting there the same way as you saw at Harvey. Or Monica is also jumping into action. She's part of a group called Coalition of Puerto Ricans in Minnesota. They are collecting donations to send back home. One of the sites to, do to donate here in the Northwest uh, Metro is uh, CrossFit Twin Cities. The New Hope Gym will collect items for as long as needed because it's going to take a long time before things return back to normal in Puerto Rico. The island has been destroyed. It's complete devastation. So it will take years to actually rebuild and um, Hopefully it'll look back the same way it used to be. The government says it's been difficult getting supplies to Puerto Rico. Today, President Trump temporar temporarily lifted shipping restrictions to help deliver aid. The Minnesota group says that they will work with their friends on the island to get supplies to those who need it. They're requesting items like diapers, water, and medicine. And Mike and Alex, there are two drop-off sites in, Northwest, in the Northwest Metro. We've got all that information on our website, ccxmedia.org.